Hello and welcome to CheapSheds.com. This video will show you how to build a floor for a two bike compact vertical bike shed using the plans available on my website at www.cheapsheds.com. This is video number one of four in my how to build a bike shed video series. If you live in an exceptionally wet area or have a major termite problem, you might want to use pressure treated wood for the entire floor, including the sheeting. This will add to the initial cost, but it's a good idea in really wet or termite prone areas. I live in a dry area and already had the correct size OSB pieces laying around the shop, so that's what I used. Cut your floor sheeting to size and the 2 4 pieces to length. The floor sheeting is under 4 feet, so set the other half aside to use in the roof. I suggest using pressure treated 2 by 4s for the floor frame at the very least. This shed is very small so it's not necessary to have a typical floor frame. Because the 2 by 4s are turned flat to keep the floor low, they're difficult to nail together and make into a frame. So to keep the frame in place until you can nail the sheeting, use 2 inch screws in each end of the 2 by 4s. Then turn the floor over so the top side is up and nail into the underlying 2 by 4s with 1 and 3 quarter inch nails. If your screws come through, simply turn the floor over and remove them. The screws aren't for strength, they're just there to temporarily keep the 2 by 4s in place. Be sure to make the finished floor very close to the dimensions called for in the plans because there will be no corner trim to hide your mistakes under. But if you follow the plans carefully, your corners will be tight and you won't need trim. Thanks for watching this video on how to build a bike shed floor. The next video in this series is how to build a bike shed door. To buy the plans to build this shed and to see all the videos in this how to build a bike shed series, go to my website at www.cheapsheds.com.